C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 1 integers page 15 1.5 properties of multiplication of integers 1.5.1 closure under multiplication 1 Observe the following table and complete it. Statement Inference Minus 20 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to 100. Product is an integer. Minus 15 multiplied by 17 is equal to minus 255. Product is an integer. Minus 30 multiplied by 12 is equal to dash, dash. Minus 15 multiplied by minus 23 is equal to dash, dash. Minus 14 multiplied by minus 13 is equal to dash, dash. 12 multiplied by minus 30 is equal to dash. Dash. What do you observe? Can you find a pair of integers whose product is not an integer? No. This gives us an idea that the product of two integers is again an integer. So, we can say that integers are closed under multiplication. In general, A multiplied by B is an integer for all integers a and b. Find the product of five more pairs of integers and verify the above statement. 1.5.2 Commutativity of multiplication We know that multiplication is commutative for whole numbers. Can we say Multiplication is also commutative for integers. Observe the following table and complete it. Statement 1 Statement 2 Inference 3 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to minus 12. Minus 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to minus 12. 3 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to minus 4 multiplied by 3. Minus 30 multiplied by 12 is equal to dash. 12 multiplied by minus 30 is equal to dash. Dash. Minus 15 multiplied by minus 10 is equal to 150. Minus 10 multiplied by minus 15 is equal to 150 dash minus 35 multiplied by minus 12 is equal to dash minus 12 multiplied by minus 30 is equal to dash dash minus 17 multiplied by 0 is equal to dash 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 is equal to dash minus 1 multiplied by minus 15 is equal to dash dash page 16 what are your observations the above examples suggest multiplication is commutative for integers write five more such examples and verify in general for any two integers a and b, a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by a. 1.5.3 Multiplication by zero We know that any whole number, when multiplied by zero, gives zero. Observe the following products of negative integers and zero. These are obtained from the patterns done earlier. Minus 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. 
0 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to 0. Minus 5 multiplied by 0 is equal to dash. 0 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to dash. This shows that the product of a negative integer and 0 is 0. In general, for any integer a, a multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 multiplied by a is equal to 0. 1.5.4 Multiplicative Identity We know that 1 is the multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Check that 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers as well. Observe the following products of integers with 1. Minus 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to minus 3. 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5. Minus 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to dash. 1 multiplied by 8 is equal to dash. 1 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to dash. 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to dash. 1 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to dash. 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to dash. This shows that 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers also. In general, for any integer a, we have a multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by a is equal to a. What happens when we multiply any integer with minus 1? Complete the following. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 3. 3 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 3. Minus 6 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to dash. Minus 1 multiplied by 13 is equal to dash. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 25 is equal to dash. 18 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to dash. What do you observe? Can we say minus 1 is a multiplicative identity of integers? No. 0 is the additive identity, whereas 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers. We get additive inverse of an integer a when we multiply minus 1 to a. That is, a multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 1 multiplied by a which is equal to minus a. Page 17 1.5.5 Associativity for multiplication Consider minus 3, minus 2 and 5. Look at, within brackets, minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by 5 and minus 3 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 2 multiplied by 5. In the first case, minus 3 and minus 2 are grouped together, and in the second, minus 2 and 5 are grouped together. We see that, within brackets, minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 whole multiplied by 5 is equal to 6 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 30. And, minus 3 multiplied by 
within brackets minus 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by minus 10 which is equal to 30. So, we get the same answer in both the cases. Thus, within brackets, minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 whole multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by within brackets, minus 2 multiplied by 5. Look at this and complete the products. Within brackets, 7 multiplied by minus 6 whole multiplied by 4 is equal to dash multiplied by 4 is equal to dash. 7 multiplied by within brackets, minus 6 multiplied by 4 is equal to 7 multiplied by dash, which is equal to dash, is within brackets, 7 multiplied by minus 6 whole multiplied by 4 equal to 7 multiplied by within brackets, minus 6 multiplied by 4? Does the grouping of integers affect the product of integers? No. In general, for any three integers a, b and c, within brackets, a multiplied by b whole multiplied by c is equal to a multiplied by within brackets b multiplied by c. Take any five values for a, b and c each and verify this property. Thus, like whole numbers, the product of three integers does not depend upon the grouping of integers and this is called the associative property for multiplication of integers. 1.5.6 Distributive Property We know 16 multiplied by within brackets 10 plus 2 is equal to within brackets 16 multiplied by 10 plus within brackets 16 multiplied by 2 Distributivity of Multiplication over Addition let us check if this is true for integers also. Observe the following. A. Minus 2 multiplied by, within brackets, 3 plus 5 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 8, which is equal to minus 16. And, within brackets, minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus within brackets, minus 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 6 plus minus 10 equal to minus 16. So, minus 2 multiplied by within brackets 3 plus 5 is equal to within brackets minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus within brackets minus 2 multiplied by 5. B. Minus 4 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 2 plus 7 is equal to minus 4 multiplied by 5, which is equal to minus 20. And, within brackets, minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 plus, within brackets, minus 4 multiplied by 7 is equal to 8 plus minus 28, which is equal to minus 20. So, minus 4 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 2 plus 7 is equal to, within brackets, minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 plus minus 4 multiplied by 7. C. Minus 8 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 2 plus minus 1 
is equal to minus 8 multiplied by minus 3, which is equal to 24. And within brackets, minus 8 multiplied by minus 2 plus within brackets, minus 8 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 16 plus 8 equal to 24. So, minus 8 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 2 plus minus 1 is equal to, within brackets, minus 8 multiplied by minus 2 plus, within brackets, minus 8 multiplied by minus 1. Page 18. Can we say that the distributivity of multiplication over addition is true for integers also? Yes. In general, for any integers a, b and c, a multiplied by, within brackets, b plus c is equal to a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by C. Take at least five different values for each of A, B and C and verify the above distributive property. Try these. 1. Is 10 multiplied by, in brackets, 6 plus minus 2 equal to 10 multiplied by 6 plus 10 multiplied by minus 2. 2. Is minus 15 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 7 plus minus 1 equal to minus 15 multiplied by minus 7 plus minus 15 multiplied by minus 1? Now consider the following. Can we say 4 multiplied by, in brackets, 3 minus 8 equal to 4 multiplied by 3 minus 4 multiplied by 8? Let us check. 4 multiplied by, in brackets, 3 minus 8 is equal to 4 multiplied by minus 5, which is equal to minus 20. 4 multiplied by 3 minus 4 multiplied by 8 is equal to 12 minus 32, which is equal to minus 20. So, 4 multiplied by, in brackets, 3 minus 8 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 minus 4 multiplied by 8. Look at the following. Minus 5 multiplied by, in brackets, minus 4 minus minus 6 is equal to minus 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to minus 10. Within brackets, minus 5 multiplied by minus 4 minus, within brackets, minus 5 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to 20 minus 30 is equal to minus 10. So, minus 5 multiplied by, in brackets, minus 4 minus minus 6 is equal to, in brackets, minus 5 multiplied by minus 4 minus, in brackets, minus 5 multiplied by minus 6. Check this for minus 9 multiplied by, in brackets, 10 minus minus 3 and, in brackets, minus 9 multiplied by 10 minus, in brackets, minus 9 multiplied by minus 3. You will find that these are also equal. In general, 
for any three integers a, b and c, a multiplied by in brackets b minus c is equal to a multiplied by b minus a multiplied by c. Take at least five different values for each of a, b and c and verify this property. Try these. 1. Is 10 multiplied by, in brackets, 6 minus minus 2 equal to 10 multiplied by 6 minus 10 multiplied by minus 2? 2. Is minus 15 multiplied by, in brackets, minus 7 minus minus 1 equal to minus 15 multiplied by minus 7 minus minus 15 multiplied by minus 1. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India